Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First of all, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, and I do so by Shem, Shukel, Shah. Second of all, I'd like to give double honor and glory to the elders who taught us this truth and paved the way for us to come to grow in this thing. I'd also like to give sincere and hearty Shalom to the brethren, the men, sisters, and children who are diligent in this truth, fighting off the flesh and seeking after righteousness, seeking after righteousness sake. I'd like to give y'all a hearty Shalom. Today we come back with a quick video on I come in the volume of the book. Uh, it's like, like I really won't be uh, explaining that much in the video, but like it's just um, um word you can find the where it says I come in the volume of the book, like um where it was originally stated. But the first verse I wanted to get is Hebrews ten or seven. Like um, I believe uh, whoever the whoever um the authors of Hebrews is. Uh, like a, in this chapter, they're speaking about like a, the sacrifice Yahweh yeah, had to make. Well, really, most of the book of Hebrews, they're just speaking about the sacrifice Yahweh yeah, had to make, and it's significant. But um, uh, like, uh, I went to Hebrews ten and seven, Hebrews ten and seven. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O God. Uh, let me see if uh, this is Yahweh Shad speaking himself, or like um, if it's just the author of Hebrews, the uh, same way Yahweh Shad was thinking, or let me see. Uh, I guess it's just the authors of Hebrews, the same way Yahweh Shad was thinking, but uh, like um, like like it says. I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me, to do that will of God. Cause so like, you can't just take, um, you can't just take parts of the Bible and not read the others. Like, throughout all the scriptures, like, uh, it refers to as Yahusha. Or it be like in a, in like in a, like in a very open and, um, not hard to understand, a prophecy or parable that is speak by Yahusha, like, um, like one of the darkest secrets that a lot of men don't know, but like all the scriptures speak by Yahweh. But anyways, um, let me get my last verse. Where this uh, verse originally came from? Cause um, cause like the authors of the so-called New Testament, like they would go back, like they would read the uh, so-called Old Testament all the time, and like um, it's like they would just uh. They would just take out verses they liked in the Old Testament to, when they were speaking about a particular subject, and like they would just reuse it. And uh, like if you watch most of my videos, like uh, you would see that um, uh, I try to go to the Old Testament and then the New Testament. I mean, like I try to go to the New Testament where the author said it, and then like uh, the Old Testament where its original context was. And I'm doing the same for this one, but like um. Let me get where this originally was said. Book of Psalm, chapter 40, and verse 7. Uh, Psalm 47. Yeah, this is a Psalm of David, which also David prophesied to saw. But anyways, Psalm 47. This I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Because, like, um, I'm pretty sure David is prophesying by Yahushua. But, um, Man, I could be uh, uh, wrong about things I said in this video, so like it's always important to uh, y'all read for yourselves to get a better understanding. But anyways, this is uh, where a lot come in the volume of the book uh, is at. But anyways, I hope somebody edified, and I pray y'all pray for me as I pray for y'all, and I pray that y'all may pray for each other, and I pray that y'all don't pray for Ukraine's betterment, but that Russia or rotation or something. But I like to give all the glory to Yahweh and I do so by Shema Shikasha. Shalom.